40, 50 feet of the house, of my house, or my property. That's a homeowner whose property backs up to a massive sinkhole that has opened up in a Lakeland neighborhood, and it's still expanding. Right now, the hole is 75 feet wide and at least 120 feet deep. Residents in the area are being told to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. This hole is located off of Scott Lake Road, south of Fitzgerald Road in South Lakeland. News Channel 8's Polk County Bureau reporter Stacy De Silva joins us now live from that scene. Stacy. Jen and Josh, the sheriff's office has closed down this portion of Scott Lake Road until further notice. Let's show you why live now on Eagle 8 HD. That's because just down this road from where I'm standing, a retention pond turned into a massive growing sinkhole just behind a man's home of over 30 years. The hole's right there. Early Friday, a small creek was all that separated this sinkhole from Jack Hall Jr.'s home. So how do you feel about it being so close to your property? It's a little spooky, to be honest with you, because this Scott Lake area is a sinkhole area of Lakeland, and uh, I'm concerned. Polk County officials say the sinkhole opened Thursday after a well was being drilled. Homes are under construction nearby. Officials say the drilling crew broke through a hard layer 180 feet down, exposing a void that's estimated to be about 300 feet deep. That's when the sinkhole started. But we assume that those two are somehow connected um, and basically created the void that then allowed the material above it to basically start breaking through that confining layer and that's what's occurring. That's typically what a sinkhole is. The Southwest Florida Water Management District sent this letter to Acres at Scott Lake, ordering a remediation plan to be submitted within 30 days. The letter states sinkholes in retention areas can cause untreated runoff to be discharged into the drinking water aquifer. Until further notice, the area of Scott Lake Road near Fitzgerald Road is closed as the sinkhole expands. The cracking around the sink top of the sinkhole had moved closer um, at this time, it's, it's not currently a threat to the roadway, but because of the traffic running the roadway and what vibration can do to a sinkhole and cause it to, to collapse further, we, we did agree that we would close the road down. We're back now with another live look from Eagle HD. We're told crews are on their way here with materials to start backfilling the hole. That work could continue throughout the weekend. In the meantime, homeowners like the one that we spoke with today are being told to be ready to leave if necessary, Jen. Stacy, this area is no stranger to sinkholes. I remember 16, 17 years ago or so, I was standing right about where you are standing right now because Scott Lake had its own issues. That's right, I'm sure you were here. It was 2006 was the year, Jen. Scott Lake actually completely drained from a sinkhole. A resident here said it took about 10 years to completely refill, so people here know exactly how intense and serious these issues can be, Jen. Those were some apocalyptic images back then in 2006. We will eagerly await the outcome of this situation. Stacy DeSilva reporting live for us in Lakeland. Thank you, Stacy. For decades, police...